So Debbie Beard with DIY Go-Go's hosting a video boot camp. And I wanted to go. And it's exactly what I did. Did I screw up? Many DIY business owners came out for the class. Like Time Well Spent Sisters and Her Hippie Soul, Upcycle by Bree and Sweet and Sassy Treasures. Why is it social media is so unfair? I mean, with one platform you can record one way, and another platform you have to record another way. And I'm so used to recording a parallel, and I'm making a video for YouTube, and you're supposed to hold your phone horizontal when you're creating videos for YouTube. And did I do that? Did Miss Robin Joe do that? With clear instructions, hold your phone horizontal. So we head out to DIY to pick a piece of furniture. Now I have just under four hours to refurbish the piece. The goal here is to record and document the entire process. So I'll have video footage to make a video. My color scheme is little black dress and bohemian blue. The nice thing about DIY paint is once it's dry, you could wet it to reactivate it, so you could blend your colors. We had so uh, challenges here, like this keeps killing off, so we just gotta let it dry and sand it, and then we'll repaint it. And you know what's really nice about your paint, Debbie, is it goes over anything and everything. It does. Something and you know what I like to say about furniture? It's like getting into a new relationship. You don't know the history. You don't know what's going to pop up. You don't know what kind of baggage. So you just never know if there's going to be surprises. But exactly. You just kind of deal with nothing. Yeah. Exactly. I agree. Have you ever been in an actual relationship like that? <laughs> 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 what was that? Of course. <laughs> After painting the dresser, it was time to put on a coat of DIY wax. You really gotta trust the process here, because after you put on a coat of wax, it comes out really dark. Then once it's set, the colors pop. for the day if you're going to be making videos make sure you are holding your camera in the correct direction um, so that way it fits your screen properly uh, you might notice that in my video a lot of my pictures were really zoomed in close because I wanted to, to eliminate the black lines on the side uh, so the YouTube video will look like it fills your screen All right, you guys, so that's a wrap for the video. Thanks for tuning in. Much appreciated. Snarf appreciates it. Appreciate it, Snarf? She appreciates it.